Hydrogen has been gaining popularity worldwide as a potential clean, sustainable energy source to fuel the future. But in order to meet high energy demands like utility infrastructure, large volumes of hydrogen would need to be transported by pipelines. There have been proposals to actually transport hydrogen gas in natural gas pipelines existing natural gas pipelines. One challenge with hydrogen is that it has a low density by volume, meaning it takes much more hydrogen transported under high pressure to be economically viable. Another challenge is that under high pressure, hydrogen atoms can diffuse into the steel, which makes it brittle and prone to cracking called hydrogen embrittlement. So we need pipeline steels that are strong enough to withstand these pressures and also not um, be failure resistant to hydrogen embrittlement. Using the BMIT beamline at the Canadian light source, Jack and his team were able to get 3D images of the cracking behavior in different types of steel and how the cracks change when stress is applied. Jack says in order to meet sustainability goals of zero emissions, the use of fuels like hydrogen are necessary. But he says it's a balancing act because high strength steel is more susceptible to embrittlement, but pipelines need to be strong and safe. Research is still ongoing for for this and yeah, it's promising because a lot of researchers are on this and we are doing our part to contribute to this body of knowledge. The government of Saskatchewan maintains oversight over all provincially regulated pipeline infrastructure, including for hydrogen transport. It says a number of facilities currently produce hydrogen for fertilizer production and petroleum refining. Quote, the government of Saskatchewan is supportive of private sector-led hydrogen projects and continues to monitor opportunities in the industry. However, there are no known new hydrogen projects at an advanced stage of development in the province. John Flatter, CTV News, Saskatoon.